Hello students, my name is Nidesh and you are watching my channel, your classroom at home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skills, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. A student, in today's lecture, I am going to discuss a very useful and handy trick to find the factors and roots of the quadratic polynomial. Let's watch it carefully. X square plus 11x plus 30. Here, the coefficient of x square is per div and constant term is also per div. First of all, we will multiply the coefficient of x square with constant term. So, the product of 30 and 1 is 30. 30 and 30. Now, break this number 30 into two parts such that their sums will be 11 and their product will be 30. So, 30 can be factorized as 6, 5, 30. Here, two factors come out as 6 and 5. Sign of these two factors will be same as the sign of coefficient of x. Here, the coefficient of x is positive. So, both of these numbers will be positive. So, the factor of this polynomial are x plus 6 into x plus 5. If we want to find the roots of this polynomial, then we have to reverse the sign of these two numbers. So, the roots are minus 6 and minus 5. Now take one more example, 6x square plus 17x plus 12. Important thing is to be noted here, a student, here the coefficient of x square is not 1. So my strategy to find the factors and roots of this quadratic polynomial is slightly different. Multiply 12 and 6, 12, 6 is 72. Now factorize 72 into two numbers such that their sum will be 17. 9 is the 72. Since the coefficient of x squared is positive and constant term is also positive, so the sign of these two factors will be same as the sign of the coefficient of x. Here the sign of the coefficient of x is positive, so these factors will be positive. Now divide these two numbers by the coefficient of x square. 3, 3 is 9, 3, 2 is 6, 2, 4 is 8, 2, 3 is 6. So the factor of this polynomial is x plus 3 by 2. Plus 3 by 2 and x plus 4 by 3 and the roots of this quadratic polynomial are x will equals to minus 3 by 2 and x will equals to minus 4 by 3. Now I am going to find the factors and roots of that quadratic polynomial in which the constant term is negative and the coefficient of x square is positive. 15x square plus 2x minus 8. Here the constant term is negative, but the coefficient of x square is positive. Now multiply coefficient of x square and constant term 15 is 120. Now break 120 into two numbers such that their difference must be 2. So, so one of the number is 12. And other is 10. 12 minus 10 equals to 2. Now divide these numbers by the coefficient of x square. 3, 4 to 12, 3, 5 to 15. 5, 2 to 10, 5, 3 to 15. The greater number was 12. So the sign of this factor will be same as the sign of 
the coefficient of x. Here, the sign of the coefficient of x is square root. So, the factor will be x plus 4 upon 5 and x minus 2 upon 3. If this factor is positive, then this will be negative. And the roots of this quadratic polynomial will be the additive inverse of these two numbers. So, roots are x is equal to minus 4 upon 5 and x will equal to 2 upon 3. So, students, in today's lecture, we have learned how to find the factors and roots of the quadratic polynomial easily and quickly. So, keep watching my videos and keep focusing on your target. Thank you. Take care.